anytime somebody comes in with a British accent, I inevitably you know start. imitate it. Yeah, an yeah. Irish accent starts off with an Irish, you know, like I gave it, I give it a shot, and yeah. it ends up British. Yeah, so I know that I'm a big yeah. mess, you know. Okay, are we rolling? Outdoor voices. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, hey, it's JoJo, and that is Ta Da Hosier. What's up, hey, man? How's it going? Good. You guys have any questions? Of course, pop them up on the screen there, and uh, we'll try to answer them things. But uh, people, will, uh, just, let's just give them a quick update. You get the track from the Tarzan yeah. soundtrack, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I thought we were just talking off the air, and uh, they basically brought you into a theater. Mm -hmm. What four or five weeks ago you said? Yeah, it was about five. At this stage, maybe five, six weeks ago. It feels like longer than that, but I think it was you know, just over a month ago. So they had the score. The score was set for the movie, but they basically said they set you down and said, all right. Here, you, you hear the score, Hosier, but we're going to take the score out and we're thinking about putting one of your songs right there. Yeah and, yeah. and so basically it was on you to come up with a track that felt appropriate for the scene and for the movie. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of how it works. They're going to you know, show you the film and what they're thinking of and how they, you know, they, they kind of want to, because it's, 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 the score is very, like, you know, a lot of drums, a lot of, like, orchestral stuff, but, like, to have a contemporary song in there is, like, you know, yeah. So, but yeah, it was great, man. It was it was it was great experience, really. And the team are really, really, really cool. Cool people. The cast is, is amazing. So yeah, it was. So like, you met the cast and all that. When yeah, they... yeah, yeah. It was yeah, exactly, yeah. But it was it, it was like a three week kind of you know three week deadline. Like, gotcha. Get to it. Yeah. If I could grow a beard like you, I'd do it. I mean, <laughs> God, look at this. I mean, the, I always have these. Beard? Yeah, you won't. See, I have little spots that kind of they have like they won't grow. Like I have a blank spot here and there. Yeah. But you have like you can just go you know full on like. Maybe yeah. I don't know. I never. Yeah, I, I think it's it's the it's the price of having nice like blonde hair, fair hair. I think a lot of my blonde. Well, this is blonde. this is. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's you know this is okay. <laughs> you know, this is L A. You know, so <laughs> just just for whatever. I don't know why I did. Hey, um, details on. I know uh, after this is you know after you're done here, basically in the states, right now you're gonna shoot back to, uh, you know you know roll back to Ireland. Yeah. And uh, you're you're not, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You're not one of these guys that you don't. You don't like to write as much on the road as others. You don't like to. You prefer not to record on the road. Yeah. You just get away from that. I, I would love. I would love to if I if I was able to. And I think I adm I admire and I'm envious of anyone who can do it. Like this this dudes you know who would have a bus specifically decked out as a studio and you know, um or they would have you know a little studio space. And I'd love to. It was just, you know, plugging that first album kind of around the world was, was is a busy one and right. you know, you're on a bus with. 12 of the people so uh, and it's just for me it was just it never having that headspace so uh, I kind of you know I had a laptop with me and a little, little mini studio kit that you bring into a hotel room if you're going to be there for a few days but I can never get was never able to get you know we never would get the album done on the road I guess um, yeah I guess when I think about it, you know it's kind of personal preference obviously mm -hmm. but I guess you're always kind of you can never just Sink back and get into your own head. So yeah, to speak. you're just yeah. kind of with somebody. There's somebody next to in the bunk. Yeah, I know a lot of artists that come through and they record in hotel rooms, which mm -hmm. you can't. You can. I would feel like you never could get into it because I'd be worried about the people next to me. Yeah, true. Yeah, you true. know. So yeah, but in, and when you go back to Ireland, man, you're like, and that's as you can do that's anything as as, you want. As you know? as it gets. Yeah, totally. And I think, and that's a, that's the way I did the first album. I kind of took my time with it and made sure I was happy with it and did it kind of quiet, put the head down, no distractions, and I think that's what I'll do next time. Well, that's Hosier, of course. Uh, follow him on Twitter, Instagram, at Hosier. That new music's coming out. Well, no date set, but... Uh, no date set, but then, yeah. At, what are you, maybe next year? Stay tuned, year? yeah, totally. Yeah, next final, year. Final, final thought here. You're known for being pretty tall, which you are. <laughs> I'm known for being pretty short. Do you mind... Uh, let, let me just stand up yeah. and see where we are here. <laughs> so, uh, oh, man. look at that. How tall are you, by the way? I am about six, six, six. So just, okay. just somewhere over the, the freak line. I am uh, I'd like to be. I'm, I'm like five, six ish. So that's where I'm at. So anyway, Hosier, it's a real Thank pleasure, you, man. Thank you, you so much. Well, okay, later.